as they turn for home and this undefeated chaser Denman looks like adding one more victory now with two more fences to be jumped in the Gold Cup. Neptune Colange is fighting it out with Cordo Star who just can't get to the leader. Here's the second last, Denman, he's over again, he hasn't touched a twig. Cordo Star has got eight or ten lengths to make up as they race towards the final fence. Denman and Sam Thomas comes towards it from Cordo Star who is closing slightly. Denman's over in front. Cordo Star's about seven lengths down in second place. Denman's getting a little weary on the running. Cordo Star trying hard to close, but Denman's been out in front for a long time. He's still six or seven lengths clear, and he's too good for them. Denman is destroying them, and a new star is Denman, who wins the Gold Cup. Making the run down towards the third last, leads by two lengths to Viva Colonia. Glinga Bank the inside just under the nudge. These are followed by the green jacket of Tobago Bay, who's now dropped to fourth. Mad Moose really winged that one. Is Mad Moose the leader? Mad Moose by a few lengths to Viva Colonia, Glinga Bank, Tobago Bay, Dicklers, Oscar Los Nadis, Nicene Creed, first stream. Thanks for coming. Dropped right away at the second last. It was Mad Moose over safely and leads by about four or five lengths on the march down towards the final flight. And it is Mad Moose clear. Glinga Bank second. Viva Colonia dispute third with Tobago Bay and Mad Moose is at the last that was Springhield on the run in Mad Moose 10 lengths clear Glingerbank holds second place then Tobago Bay who's being followed by Viva Colonia Nicene Creed is coming again but it's all over and this will go to Mad Moose in the colours of Nigel Twiston Davis Sam Twiston Davis doing the steering and Mad Moose has won well Annabelle Fly and Road to Respect are staying on this is the home turn in the Gold Cup might bite on the outside of a driven along Native River. Five or six lengths at least behind those to Road to Respect. Then Annabelle flying jacket and behind those. Two fences to jump. Nico still holding on to Mike Bite. Native River with a noseband on the right. The pair are still together. Second last, they touch down when they head towards the final fence. Mike Bite nearest to us. Under pressure, the far side is the brave Native River. The 22nd and final fence. Native River just in front. They might bite. Up the hill, they come. Native River by a length and a half to my bite in second place. Native River is fending off the challenge of my bite. They run towards the line. The brave, the generous Native River in front. He's still holding on. He's made every yard. What a run. Native River and Richard Johnson have won the Tomiko Gold Cup. Effectual going pretty well in behind, followed by Mr. Morose Bay Rajan. Looks a bit flat-footed. Down towards the second last, and it's Limestone Lad that continues to make the best of his way home for Ireland, and another good jump there, but Bacchanal is now laying down a challenge. Bayrajan is rallying on the inside. Effectual is delivering a promising-looking bid. Lady Rebecca is flat out in behind them. They race for the final turn, and Bacchanal now lays it down to Limestone Lad. They've kicked away from Bayrajan and Effectual. Lady Rebecca can't go on, and then Silver Wedge. One flight left to go, and Bacchanal strikes the front for Nicky Henderson and Mick Fitzgerald. Limestone Lad trying to fight back, having made so much of the running. But Bacchanal draws to the final flight, put himself right at it. Limestone Lad, two legs to find up the hill. Then Bayrajan and Effectual. They got 150 yards to go. Limestone Lad is fighting back. Bacchanal by a length to Limestone Lad. Bacchanal all out. Limestone Lad. Boy, he's tough, but not quite as tough as Bacchanal. And Bacchanal wins the stairs hurdle. Limestone Lad. Had a brave run in second. Bayrajan. The new one, the red jacket on the outside. Nichols Canyon trying to get through on the inside in the black and beige. They come now to the second last. Top notch is in fifth place. Sign of a victory is running on. Annie Power, two out. Got over it just. My tender yours, though, is still with her. The new one in third position. Round the home turn. Annie Power now the super sub leads by a length and a half. Goes on to my tender yours in second position. Nichols Canyon, the new one of the the next couple of runners heading down towards the last flight in the champion hurdle and it's Annie Power comes towards it now, she's about four lengths clear this year she jumped it perfectly, Annie Power heads up the hill, it's going to be third time lucky for her, the super sub Annie Power has won the Stan James champion hurdle, it'll be tight for second place, a great run from my tent of yours has fought that out with Nichols Canyon